This new movie, did you see Bros? I don't even understand. I missed everything. I don't even understand what it is. I, I was told that I'm not allowed to see it because I'm straight. I don't even, I didn't know it was a gay movie. It's a gay movie. It's a gay rom-com. And oh, it, so what happened? It, it bombed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Billy Eichner. Mm -hmm. It's someone else. I don't know. Uh, they tried to do, they tried to do a movie about just dudes fucking. Okay. And America did not come. And I, I don't think it's that America's homophobic because the birdcage did 185 right. million worldwide. Brokeback Mountain was huge. But this movie, for whatever reason, has done 4.8 million opening for bros is so low that it also means many LGBTQ viewers didn't show up. Because everyone's gay now. <laughs> yeah. You can't blame straight people because if you go on the internet, everyone's kind of gay. Mm -hmm. If you look at their bios. So they also didn't do see this movie. I didn't even know in there. In, I didn't even know what it was or existed. <laughs> it was called bros. I thought it was about bro dudes. I didn't know it was about gay guys. It's about a gay guy who's a podcaster. It's a, about it's about a, a podcaster. That's why no one went. Yeah. It's about a podcaster and an, and a dude who's kind of like a, a jock and they meet up and they're not releasing it in the middle East because there's graphic sex scenes. Oh really? Yeah. There's some know. graphic. Here's the thing with a movie like this. It's gotta be so funny. Mm-hmm. A movie like this has got to be so funny that you have to be the sh you know the dude mm -hmm. to suggest it to your other friends mm -hmm. and not seem gay. Right. So the movie has to be so good that you have to go, guys. You know, and because yeah. it'll never be easy to do. I tell you, you bring someone. I yeah. go, we got to go see Bros. Right. There's not a laugh, and it's just men fucking. Yes. Your friends go. Well, now we've learned. <laughs> yeah, now gay. we've learned something about you. You've come out. This is, thanks for telling us. What you have to do with this, because it, it would start where it's like you would you would literally have to be like, hey man, you know, it's, maybe maybe we'll go see a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a bunch of dudes, and they're like, <laughs> they're all sitting there, and you got to go, hey man, like. Uh, I don't know what's out, you know. Uh, we, uh, maybe uh, there's something. Uh, what about bros? And they, one of them's going to go, isn't that the gay movie? That's your moment. That's your moment. You have to hit them with bullet points. You have to be like, no, 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 no. They're like, dude, aren't they sucking each other off for two hours? You go, no, 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 no. It's, it's so funny. And you know, Steve Martin's in it or whoever. Like, you got to have so much star power in that one movie. You yeah. have to be like, dude, did you see the trailer? It's fucking hilarious. Look at the trailer. Like, it has to be so aggressively good. So funny. So funny. Just to get through. You have to actually, you'd be like, or you have to like fuck a girl in the theater yeah. as you're watching it. Like, yeah. oh, this is cool too. You got to be like, listen, I was fucking my bitch the other night and you know what she wanted to go see? This movie, Bros. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's left town, but I figure we're all together. Right, I'm here. We're here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll go see Bros. And and the, the thing is, it's really, so they've spent an estimated 30 to 40 million to promote Bros. Because it's everywhere. If you look. I haven't even. I know. It's hard now. On. It's, you haven't even seen any of it. I saw one sign that said bros, and it was two guys. And you know what I thought the movie honestly was about? I thought it was about straight guys pretending to be gay or something. I was like, oh, are they doing this in 2006? <laughs> like, we didn't hear about the Me Too movement like, kind of shit. real, like, unwoke. Like, yes, two dudes that's what who I thought like, it was. It's like the Sandler movie. What was it called? Adam Sandler, that movie where they pretended to get married. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Yeah. <laughs> and it yeah. was like, who was it? It was Kevin James, yeah, right? Kevin James Sandler. And, and they pretended to be... They pretend to be because he wanted to bang. What's her name? With the great ass. Sorry. Yeah. I'm allowed to say. Yeah. yeah. It's my show. You're allowed <laughs> to say anything you want. What's her name? Anyway, Justin Timberlake's ex-wife. Jessica or, Biel. Yeah. So it's they pretended to be gay. And they were firemen. Yeah, they were firemen. Firemen can't be gay. So we were thinking, like, I was I was wondering, it's like the marketing in this. Number one, the, the thing bros right there. B-R-O-S with the thing. Like this, you have to market this very differently. Right. This cannot be marketed as like, hey, everybody, it's a gay movie. Mm -hmm. You have to market this as a fucking hilarious movie mm -hmm. where guys fuck mm -hmm. in it. Like, there's graphic sex in it. Yeah. Dude sex. And it's got to be so over the top. Mm -hmm. Like, dude sex can be really funny, but it's got to be really over the top. What's it about? Is it just so gay I'll, sex? I'll, we'll, we'll try to get the... Because uh, I watch gay sex. Right. No, I, I think it's a, it's about... Are they brothers who are gay? <laughs> <laughs> that might gay be a brothers. problem. <laughs> it's about... Here, hold on. Go, go back for a second. Bobby, See? a neurotic podcast host who's happy to go on Tinder dates and content not to have a serious relationship. That all changes mm -hmm. when he meets Aaron, an equally detached lawyer who likes to play the field. 
repeatedly drawn to each other, both men begin to show their vulnerable sides. If you go see this, you are gay. Right. You're coming out. Sure. Like, the description of that, if you're paying money to see that movie, you're gay. I tell you, they call it the gay movie or the yeah. your, the gay test. Yeah. Making more money. Yeah. Bros was a bad name. No, this is this, this is your gay movie. If this was like any other type of movie. Yeah. Where it's a guy like me uh-huh. who's a garbage man <laughs> in Staten Island <laughs> and who has to tell his fat wife he sucks cock. Yeah. And she's throwing shit at him and calling him and she's like, you're a faggot. Yeah. That's a movie people watch mm-hmm. because they go, and then you can sneak in some disgusting, fu- you know, not that gay sex is disgusting, but I mean like it should be in a comedy. Right. Gay sex in a comedy should be funny. Sure. Just like straight sex in a rom-com should be funny. Yes. Like, it shouldn't be, like, hot. No. I think any sex in a comedy should be kind of like, what's going on? I would argue this, though. I would argue yes. that if you're going to put a sex scene in, you they've yet to do this, put in a real, super hardcore yeah. fuck scene into a comedy. I'm I think, saying, come I th- on your face. I think this is that. Really? The, supposedly, I'll go see this. it's. Gra- <laughs> we're gonna, I'm in. Yeah, I think it's so graphic. That really? People, gay people aren't going to watch it because <laughs> they're turned off this by how gay for me. how graphic gay it, your gay voice is. A gay <laughs> Latino <laughs> like it's too gay for me, Poppy. That's too gay for me, Poppy. That's either. too gay for me. <laughs> it's so much fucking right. apparently, and I don't know because Billy Eichner's come out and said, listen. You're all homophobic. You didn't go to see it. Now, here's the thing. Respect to Billy Eichner. You're not a big celebrity. Sure. You did a Billy on the street. It's to show people watching taxis. <laughs> he, you, What does he do, right? He runs around and he's like, "Doesn't isn't this his show? He's like, hey, I'm on the street, everybody. And who are you? I and don't like it. I, it's he's very mean. He's a mean guy. He, he walks down the street and he says, hey, I don't like your hair. And they go, what? And he goes, you're a bitch. And he leaves. And I'm like, this is not a show. Wait, it's like a show that legitimizes hate crimes. Yes. You go, oh, yeah, punch that gay guy. <laughs> he... <laughs> Yeah, that's all the whole show is, is he chases people yeah. on the street. and I mean, he, he answer fast. Yeah, he goes, what's going on with you? You know, right. and you're you're like, I, I don't know. Mm. What are the three branches of government? You're like, I, I don't really know. Like, yeah. he's like, all right, you ignorant pig. And then he just runs away. <laughs> and so he's the guy. So listen, this. let me read a review here. This is not a movie for teens of any age. It's basically teens softcore porn. of any age. Teens of any yeah, age cannot any see that. Well, Euphoria, <laughs> which is the biggest show on oh. TV. Fucking great. And it's a great show. Yeah. I love that. I've always wanted to be in that mm-hmm. as some unimportant thing. I'll edit you in. Thing. <laughs> Can you? Yeah, why don't just I? Just edit me in? We'll just do some scenes and I'll put you in it. <laughs> <laughs> now you're in it. <laughs> I've always wanted to, just so I could like stand next to Jacob yeah. Lordy and just be like, it's another day on the, you know, it's another day for guys like us. You know, just something yeah. stupid. But it's softcore porn, right? Yeah, it's yes. a very, like... So now this goes, it's not a movie for somebody, by the way, brought their teens to bros Mm -hmm. and is very, very angry about this. Mm -hmm. Some parent Mm -hmm. said, we're going to bros. I don't know how that happened. They walked in and they're like, we're going to bros. Yeah. This is not a movie for teens of any age. It's basically softcore porn. Why would you let your 16-year-old watch a movie with fairly graphic orgies, gay or straight, our standards for what is considered appropriate entertainment for teens has reached a new low. I don't know if this was marketed to teens. And then the next person under goes, hilarious and raunchy. <laughs> I'm going to go see this movie and see if I get some lift. This is very exciting for me. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how graphic it is. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, let me tell you this. After you get married, yeah, ev- you become gay. You become everything. <laughs> I am, I am, it's like prison. You know, yeah. people go to prison, you have to, you know, right. I will fuck anything. Yeah. And I'll do, and and I watch right. these things. I try to test myself to yeah. see where I can go sexually, what I can watch. I'm going to go to this movie just, and I'm going to try to jerk off. Yeah. I, see what happens. I so. love this article. It goes, bros review, Billy Eichner won't play nice for the straights. <laughs> it's like, why is everything so angry? I know. It's annoying. It's like, why is everything so just make a really funny movie and sneak some graphic right. sex into it? Mm-hmm. I knew when I would try to get my friends to watch gay stuff, mm-hmm. it always had to have something else going What's on. What's gay stuff? Give me a hint. Like a movie. Like a, what, What's a gay movie? <sighs> just give me, I need a- Trying to think of a good uh, gay movie. Birdcage. <sighs> yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Right. Nichols and May, one of the funniest scripts ever written. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You easily go, dude, it's fucking hilarious. It's actually really funny. Yeah. Okay? You know, uh, Twilight is gay. 
Very gay, very good. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's the guy with the shirt off. It's like, yeah. you got to have some other, you got to have like, yeah, but there's a hot chick in it. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of, you got to target the market of closeted people. Yes. They want to see the movie. Yes. Closeted people want to go to see the movie. Some of them are going to go see it alone. It's a gay movie with a different hook. It's a different hook. You right. got to be able to, because there's guys, someone's got to be able to sit through this movie mm-hmm. fully erect mm-hmm. and walk out a straight man with their friends. <laughs> and if that doesn't happen, you failed as a producer. Here's what I do. I open a business. I open a yeah. theater where the theater, our whole vibe is we tell you every movie sold out except the gay movie. So you go, hey, let's go see the new Transformers. Interesting. Right? You walk up, you go, two, three, four for Transformers, and yeah. they go, sorry. Yeah. All we have is uh, raping ass sex for four hours. <laughs> got- and you go, well, we already paid for the Uber, and yeah. now you're in. We, now you're in. Right. Well, I want to see the lesbian version of this. Right. The lesbian version of this, where I don't know what they would call it. Like, how extreme is it going to get? They just call it dykes. <laughs> And it's just two women on, like, a farm in Wisconsin just eating each other's pussies for two hours. Yeah. And, again, I understand America's homophobic. People say homophobic shit about me all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the least bad of what they say about me. But I understand that the country's homophobic. But you got to see it as a challenge. Mm -hmm. Just work around it. Right. Just work around it. But also, like... Yeah, okay, the country's homophobic. But the major markets aren't. They're not. New York, L.A., Homophobia is not the reason for this failure. That's what I agree. The reason for this failure is it's probably not funny. Yeah. Sorry. Can we watch a trailer on this or will we get totally fucked? Like, I mean, I don't mean, like, we can watch a trailer, right? Why are you looking at me? I'm a guest. I don't know. Let me throw this at you. (laughs) You also have to understand that if they would have marketed as there's all this gay sex scenes, you're also going to get the bros who are like, yo, dude, let's go watch that gay movie. Yes. I mean, those guys are going to go see it as a bit, you know, because they think that's funny. You have to allow them space to ironically go see this bro movie. Let's hear it. Let's watch this. Hey, guys, it's Bobby Lieber coming to you from the future home of the LGBTQ plus museum. See, already I'm out. They're talking about the LGBTQ museum. This happens to be Bisexual Awareness Week. Bisexual Awareness Week. Nobody has acknowledged it. Lesbian History Month was in March. Nobody said a goddamn thing. Of course, lesbians get a month and we get a week. So what's happening? Didn't you it's his appetite, too. Little, I mean, he's great. I do love I mean, he's done great stuff. In a thruple situation. Yeah. You're in a thruple? Let me tell you what's progressive now. Being alone. I love my life. I love my freedom. I love my independence. That's kind of sad. That I don't want to be in a thruple. I don't even want to be in a couple. Freedom. Bobby, I had sex with that 65-year-old. Jesus, he's ripped. I know. It's like they injected steroids into Dumbledore. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not bad. it. Right. You know, when you a line like that, it's like they injected steroids into Dumbledore. Yeah. That's not it. Okay, you know how you can, good comedies were like 10 years yeah, ago? Yeah, I mean. Like yeah. Will Ferrell, the fucking, those like movies, the Adam McKay, that genre was like, dude, that shit was so, fu- I mean, we're done. You could have snuck in hardcore anal into Step Brothers. No one would have cared. I would have I loved it. It would have been fine. Yeah. Because it was so fucking funny. Mm-hmm. You put a, a fisting scene in the middle of Tommy Boy, fine. I, I'll say this. I'll throw this out to your fans. Edit a hardcore sex scene into Step Brothers. And right. Let's see if it makes it better. Yeah. I guarantee it does. Right. I guarantee it. Just I'll Mary watch Steenburgen it. Getting, getting plowed. <laughs> the middle of them. Yeah. Yeah. The two brothers. Right bros. It's about Step Bros. And they're fucking. Re-edit Step yeah. Bros. Line through Step. And just edit hot sex between Will Ferrell yeah. and Philip Seymour Hoffman. What's his name? Uh, uh, John, John C. Riley. Riley. Yeah. That Philip <laughs> Hoffman has died of a heroin overdose. <laughs> well, that'll happen. Very sad. Very sad. This is what happens. <laughs> well, the, my, my old feeling on the whole thing is I hate blaming homophobia. Mm-hmm. I think you just got to do better shit. Right. But I also understand that, like, there is, that's real to a degree where sure. people just go, yeah, it's hard for a dude to suggest to his buddies, let's go see bros. <sighs> it's not just my a, people. My not your people. Would've. But we got to think about, like, first of all, the title. Right. The title. Right, bros is stupid. It's a title. dumb title because some guy's got to say to a guy in a pickup truck, you want to just go see bros? <laughs> it's the worst title. <laughs> I 
He's it, so defeated. It's like, so <laughs> bad. Those two guys in the truck have had a day already, and yeah. they're just going, I mean, none of this is working out. Yeah. Let's just go see bros. Let's go see bros. <laughs> Do yeah. you want to see that guy suck off that other guy? Yeah, I mean, I'll check it out. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a wild moment. You, you call it gay sex, you're getting more views, I think, honestly. Yeah. I think they didn't go They didn't go far enough. Yeah, They didn't maybe. go far enough, I think. They went too medium. That whole trailer was medium. Right. They go pull back or go all in. Or go all in. All in. Yeah. All in, I'm in. Yeah, which just, or it's eyes wide shut it's, with Billy Eichner, the most annoying person on television. <laughs> He's blacks. the most, people do not react to him the way he thinks people react to him. With all due respect. All due respect. Like he doesn't, he doesn't come off like a fun guy you want to spend two hours with no he, he hates me i don't even know him he i know he hates me i think he blocked me on twitter i'm not sure but he hates like so a lot of people in that movie are not fans of mine <laughs> because it's like i get it whatever you know i'd be one of them called me a pet homosexual once because i was just friends with rogan and them what does that mean a pet? it means like i'm friends with straight people let me say this though yeah these guys I don't yeah. Want, maybe this is disrespectful yeah 99 of the time i forget you're gay that's true. Not in like whatever, but, but they you're would not- say they would say that I'm doing the wrong thing because they would say that I'm trying to assimilate into the straight world instead of walking around spitting cum at people <laughs> every know, day. That's right. what that's what they would say instead of me because for me it would be weirder if I went harder at the gay like w- that would be just as disingenuous. Right. If I got on stage I was like, "Hey, bitch, right. stop it." Like that would be strange. And I would argue too that I want to just I forget you're gay in the way I bet people forget I'm Italian. That's right. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it's a giant part of my life. Yeah. But there's just so much You don't much- walk around with full-blooded Italian shirts. No. You don't talk about the mother country. <laughs> no, it's no. just not. You've got other things going I got on. Other things going on, man. Yeah, 